Hey, what's up guys? It's Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube, and I do all the lead code problems, so if you ever want to, you know, learn or have these explained to you, I have do all of them, so just check. Uh, I've got a ton of them up right now already, so. This one's called Robot Return to Origin, and I think we found the easiest problem on lead code. This is actually probably the easiest problem, so. If you're looking for something to start with, let's start with this one. Basically, we have a robot at position 0, 0. And all we have to do is, given a sequence of moves, judge if the robot will end up at 0, 0 again after it's done moving. And um, a movement is indicated by a string, basically a character. So if it goes up, it goes up one. And if it goes down, it goes down one. So if it goes up one and then down one, it's going to be right at the same spot. Right? You go up one and then down one. So that's true. It's going to be at zero, zero again. If it goes left and then left, so it can move up, left, down, and right. Hopefully that looked good on camera. That didn't really, I don't know if the mirror version is going to look right. But um, if it goes left twice, it's not going to end up at zero. If it went left and then right, then it would. Uh, I think you guys get it. It can only move one space at a time, so it can only move up, down, left, or right one space at a time. So super easy. Uh, let's just use a grid. Int x equals 0, y equals 0. There's the initial coordinates. And now this is really easy, guys. Uh, we have the string moves, which is we're just going to iterate character by character through the string to get our current move. Uh, so we'll have char. You can call it whatever you want. In moves, we'll just call it move in moves dot two char array. You always got to remember two char array. I forget that a lot um, to get to iterate through the characters. And then this is it. Uh, if move is equal to up, what do we do? Uh, well, we do y axes plus equals one. If you took basic math, I think in seventh grade we learned this. If move equals down, uh, then we'll do y minus equals one. Right? Up and down on the y axes. Else if move equals left, this is the left axis, uh, x axis, guys. Uh, we'll do minus equals one on the left uh, x axis. Um, not else, else if uh, move equals right, then we just do x plus equals one on the x axis. And that is the whole problem, super easy. All we have to do now is return if x equals zero, we'll put it in parentheses just for good luck. If x is equal to zero at the end, and you always got you got to make sure it's and y equals zero. So if it's zero zero at the end, then it's going to return true, and we return true, otherwise false, and that should be the whole solution. And there's no semicolon, so that's why it failed. I'm sorry, I'm a disgrace. I'm one of the easiest problems here. Add some Jamba Juice too. If move equal, oh my gosh, we're making huge mistakes here, and guys. Remember that strings, I mean, uh, characters are single quotes. God, that was a, I'm bragging, I'm bragging about how this is the easiest one, and then this is, I do worse on this than all my other videos. There we go, it's done, all right. So that's the easiest problem on Leak Code. Even when it's the easiest problem, you always gotta, don't get cocky, especially in an interview, because... You might run into stuff like that where you make mistakes. Uh, I should have thought about all that stuff. So semicolon, make sure the characters are single quotes, and that's it. Check out the other videos, guys. Everything's in the description. Thank you. See ya.